Hi, and welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. Displace is a geometry shader, available in the pro version of Keyshot, that will transform the actual surface geometry of an object. In this quick tip, I'll use a noise texture to displace the surfaces of these perfect cubic ice cubes to make them look a bit more realistic. To do so, let's hide everything but the ice cubes and open up the material graph for the material applied to the cubes. Right click an empty space in the material graph, go to geometry and select displace. In order for the displacement to have effect on your geometry, you need to connect a texture. The light areas of the texture will raise the surface of the geometry while black areas stay. Right click an empty space in the graph, go to textures and select noise texture and connect the node to the displace input. Select the noise texture node and hit C on the keyboard to see the color output. Adjust the scale of the noise in the texture properties and hit C on the keyboard again to exit the color preview. Connect the displace node to the geometry input of the material root node. Make sure the displaced geometry shader node is selected and hit the execute geometry nodes button to see the outcome. For the purpose of this video, we have sped up the geometry node execution process. Keep in mind this process may take some time depending on complexity of the geometry and amount of system memory. The displacement can be adjusted in the following ways. Displacement height lets you adjust the height of the displacement. The white areas of the texture are displayed with the value set in displacement height, while black areas will not be displaced. Negative values will invert the direction of the displacement. Offset adjusts the origin of the displacement. When the offset is set to zero, the black areas will be on the surface of your geometry. Resolution sets the size of the triangles that makes up the displacement. If you experience a rough look on the edges of your displacement, try lowering this number. And with the max triangle setting, you can control how many triangles the displacement is allowed to use. Again, if you experience a rough look on the edges of your displacement, try increasing this number. Displacements can be combined with regular bump maps to create even more surface detail. Here, I add in a granite procedural texture and attach it to the bump input of the material shader to roughen the surfaces of the ice cubes on a smaller scale. Keep adjusting until you're satisfied with the look and then bring all the other parts back. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure that you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.